Wow, Sonic 3 looks so beautiful. Ah! Oh, this is fine. Hey, welcome back to Sonic Origins Speed Strats. <laughs> Following Sonic 2 and the fall of the mighty Death Egg, Dr. Eggman crash lands on a mysterious floating island known as Angel Island. There, he discovers the source of the ultimate power, the Master Emerald, a gem that can control the Chaos Emeralds. After convincing Knuckles the Echidna, the guardian of the Master Emerald, to team up with him, Dr. Eggman hatches a plan to steal the Master Emerald, repair his Death Egg, and rule the world! Meanwhile, Sonic and Tails arrive on Angel Island with the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic 2's West Side Island. However, out of nowhere, Knuckles punches the Super right out of Super Sonic. The Emeralds return to the special stages, and now our heroes must recollect the Emeralds and stop Dr. Eggman and Knuckles. In case you didn't know, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles is actually a combination of two classic game cartridges connected together using Sega's lock-on technology, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles. In Sonic Origins, you'll be able to experience the full adventure as Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles. Did we mention there was Knuckles? Let's start with Sonic first. He has a drop dash, just like in the other titles in Anniversary Mode, as well as the spin dash. New to Sonic 3 is the double attack, also known as the Insta Shield, which lets Sonic deflect enemy projectiles and become invincible for a very short period. Just make sure you time it right. You may discover item monitors containing a water, flame, or lightning elemental shield throughout each zone. While protecting each of the heroes from one attack, the shield gives Sonic a unique ability. With the water shield, Sonic can bounce and breathe underwater. With the flame shield, Sonic can use the fireball spin dash and is protected from all fire and lava. With the lightning shield, Sonic can double jump and becomes a magnet for any nearby rings. Tails is able to utilize his flying ability to reach higher pathways and damage enemies. He can also swim underwater. Look at his cute little doggy paddle. Who's a good boy? Who's a good... <clears throat> um, and when you play as Sonic and Tails together, you can fly as Tails even in single player mode. While playing through as Sonic and Tails, you may notice some pathways you can't quite get into. This is where Knuckles comes in. You see, his story takes place after Sonic and Tails' encounter with Dr. Eggman. Knuckles' story is about defending Angel Island from a lone egg robo. And when you play as him, you can now enter alternate pathways using his knowledge of the island and his strength to power through boulders. You can utilize his gliding and climbing abilities to explore every corner of Angel Island. You'll also fight some unique bosses, including this fan-favorite battle against Mecha Sonic Mark II. Also, Mark II has the ability to harness the power of the Master Emerald, but if you remember, Knuckles is no stranger to punching the super right out of someone. After passing lampposts with 20 or more rings, jump into the stars that appear to enter one of the three bonus stages. Here, you'll be able to gain items, rings, extra lives, and more. In the gumball bonus stage, use bumpers on the side to reach the top and turn the machine's lever. After doing this, an item might drop. The bumpers will disappear right after you use them, so try to get as many items as you can. In the glowing sphere bonus stage, your goal is to reach the top by using these gravity-defying spheres. You can obtain various items by touching the small glowing spheres. Try reaching them before they disappear, and watch out for the rising laser below you! The slot machine bonus stage might look familiar. Essentially, it's a combination of Casino Night Zone from Sonic 2 and the special stages from Sonic 1. Jump towards the center to stay in the game. Previously introduced in Sonic 2, Super Forms are back in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. There are giant rings this time hidden in each zone, which will take you to the special stage when jumping or running into them. Welcome to Blue Spheres, a special stage where you must grab all the blue spheres in order to obtain a Chaos Emerald. Be sure to avoid the red spheres if you want to stay in the game. Also, don't worry if you mess up in Anniversary Mode, because you can always use a coin to retry instantly.
After collecting all seven Chaos Emeralds and obtaining 50 rings, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles will be able to transform into their super forms. But wait, it's time to talk about the Super Emeralds. Using the uh, not-so-secret teleporter in Mushroom Hill, you'll be able to enter the Hidden Palace. When bringing all seven Chaos Emeralds to this mysterious location, they will transform into the Super Emeralds. So jump on one of these emeralds to enter Blue Spheres. The transporter in Mushroom Hill won't work after the first time you use it. To access the Hidden Palace again, you'll have to find the hidden giant rings throughout the zones. After collecting all seven of the Super Emeralds, the character you're playing as can transform after collecting 50 rings. Here's Hypersonic, Hyper Tails, and Hyper Knuckles. In competition mode, you and a friend can go head-to-head -head in a two-player split-screen race with five unique zones and three different gameplay modes. Introducing New Blue Spheres. Similar to when this mode was first introduced in Sonic Mania, you'll be able to try out Blue Spheres with even more features and obstacles. But it doesn't matter what obstacles they put in our way! We'll blow past anything they throw at us! Right, Tails? Tails? Uh, okay. Maybe we need a few more strats. Next time, we'll walk through some of the secrets of Sonic Origins. See you then!